Hello and welcome, Paul Beverly here, uh, looking at modern comments. I wonder if you've uh, encountered these uh, yet. Uh, probably not too happy if you have. Uh, a number of editors are uh, creating. Uh, one of the problems is that they don't seem to work uh, with auto text if you're in the comment boxes and they certainly don't uh, run you can't run macros in the comment boxes so I freaked out when I first heard that and I've been playing and trying to see what you can and can't do but let's have a look at modern comments and uh, see what we've got um, if we just make it a bit smaller we've got a track change there and the um, I'm calling this three lane highway because we've got uh, uh, the um, the text, we've got the track changes, and then we've got the comments in a separate column, which is a bit of a pain. Um, the comments can be in two forms. They can either be, uh, if I click on the, that comment box, they can either be a list like this, and there's two comments there, and the other one is down the bottom here. So uh, that's down there. Um, so back up to the top, so there's, there's the, if I click on again on the word comments, uh, we get them uh, contextual and you've got the same thing if you get the ribbon uh, the the show comments box here you've got either contextual um, uh, in which case they've disappeared um, this is bound to, this is this demonstration is bound to go wrong so don't worry about that um, back to the list there um, okay so uh, what how can I help well um, just showing you what you can do with these uh, boxes. Uh, when you're in the list mode, then this down arrow here um, it has got three three uh, things: uh, move, resize, and close. Well, close is the same as the Xbox, and it, it sort of closes it. It closes it and brings up the contextual version. Um, so, uh, what about move? Is that of any use to us? Yes, it is because click on that. And you can actually take hold of this thing and move it around. Uh, actually, I've already resized it, as you can see. I've resized it small. Uh, resize, um, and so you can. Um, no, hang on. Is it? Yes, it's resizing. Uh, so it can be as whatever size you like. And um, I won't try it, but I'll oh, go on. Why not? You can actually. Uh, no, it won't do it. it it's, oh, there you go. It's, <laughs> it's attached to this size now. Um, let's move it again. Uh, move it out of the way down there. Uh, resize. You, you can resize it temporarily if you like by doing that. But if you resize on there, then it stays. The st oh, oh, it's disappeared altogether now. Where's it gone? <laughs> oh, there it is. Come back again. Um, right. Okay. So what are we doing? Um, there. Are, I've I've done some work on macros because they don't work in the text boxes. And as I say, neither does auto text. Uh, let's see what does work and what doesn't work. Um, the, the ones that that seem to work. Let's get a bit bigger. Uh, if you want to move up and down between the uh, the comments, then those two macros up, uh, next and previous work okay. Um, if you just want, there's a macro that adds a, a macro with a bit of standard text. Uh, normally, that's not not terribly exciting because you can use the ordinary Control Alt M. But if you do a Control Alt M, you get one of the ordinary, um, well, sorry, one of the, the uh, modern comment boxes. Uh, because I want to suggest that we would do better to be working in the comment. Well, maybe or this is one alternative is to use the comment pane. Uh, I was worried about uh, scraping comments out, but the comment copier and the, the collect tabulated both work okay, so that's good. Um, there are a number of macros that didn't work and now do, I think, um, as long as you've got the uh, May version, you can get those off the uh, Word Macro Tools website. Um, so we've got um, the, um, oh, I've put it up there. Um, <laughs> uh, so uh, uh, the add simple which we're going to use um, the ones that add text uh, sorry add comments off a menu there's uh, three uh, there's two different ones there uh, those are now working on the uh, the way I want to suggest it might help you is to use the comment pane and um, the comment pane uh, if you run the comment pane macro 
then it creates the, a pane down the bottom here and the size of it there is set within the, um, the comment pane uh, macro itself uh, which I might be able to show. So uh, if I look at the macros, there we go, um, comment pane there, uh, percent uh, pane, percent pane, uh, say if I increase that to 30%, um, let's close that again. So if I run the, the um, macro again, uh, then it's, it's opened up to 30% uh, size. So it's up to you, you can play around with that. Um, okay, so um, we can, what, what can we do? We can get rid of that box and work without the uh, those uh, modern comments showing and just add, if we want to add um, a comment in there, we can run um, comment add simple and then we can type the text in there. Um, and the good thing is that things like uh, you know, macros like uh, switching uh, uh, two words and so if I want to type references I type RE and I run multi-switch and then it expands it to reference so macros work in there and I imagine auto text will work in there but I, I don't actually know um, but the the version just to say the version of multi-switch is has had to be updated so that it works properly in the comments column uh, comments column um, is there anything else that I can show you at this stage? I'm not sure that there is. Um, the, are, the, are there any macros that don't work? Um, and if there are, then perhaps you'd let me know. Um, yeah, and uh, good luck with modern comments. I hope you enjoyed them.